Maybe more importantly is that she scores on 42% of her shots. So it's one play person that Kate Laser and the back line especially are gonna have to keep an eye on here tonight. Meanwhile, Katie Marker for HCU is their, their leading goal scorer. She's got five goals and an assist. We're underway now. Houston with an early touch into the box and cleared away by AM Commerce. And you can see the wind, the way it blows the flags here, straight out almost. And they're looking for Maya Mitchell. She's got it on the far side, making a run towards the 18. Her ball blocked by Murillo. She gets it back left footed. Nobody there. And Commerce will try to chase it down. They do. This is Haley Griffin, number 17, putting it back into the box. Knocked down and cleared out, at least momentarily, as Campanzano got it for AM. Now Mitchell has it, and it's poked away by Houston Christian. The Lions pop it back to the top of the 18. Now it's headed in. And that ball will go to the keeper. Bagshaw this season, six clean sheets for the Huskies. Cuerta has it now. She'll put Evie Slaughter into space, but she was unable to catch up to that ball. And it'll be a goal kick coming the other way. Jen Peters in between the pipes. She's a senior for Commerce, and she was the 2021 Conference Goalkeeper of the Year. HCU has the wind at their back here in the opening 45, and they will need to take advantage of it, as we'll talk about in a moment, how the goal scoring has gone for these two clubs. They're almost identical in terms of how things have gone this season when it comes to goal scoring and conceding goals. AM Commerce won the first matchup between these two sides, four to one. It's the only time these two teams have met in history here between the two sides. It was a four to one win on September 9th. That began a three game losing streak for HCU Maya Mitchell scored a goal in that game. Naya Mitchell, the left center back for number 15 for Commerce that just drew the foul. She is the twin sister of Maya Mitchell. And this one across midfield, Taylor Rizzo heads it down, but she's called for over the back of Ashley Campazano, the freshman out of Dallas. And a free kick coming for Commerce one more time, just a bit closer this time. Caitlin Velitis will stand over the ball. Sends it. On goal, Bagshaw watches it and it lifts on to the top of the goal, the roof of the goal, as they like to say in soccer. Pretty good kick there into the wind at the distance, but Bagshaw saw it all the way. Miscue there briefly by the Huskies. They get the ball back. Try to send it over the top. It'll go out on the far side and a throw in coming for the Lions. McKenny Keeley with the throw and she'll take an up. Uh, actually, they'll say that one off of Campanzano and a throw in to the Huskies. 
quick toss into Ford, and she transitions it across to Addison. You'll see her make a, a lot of good runs here today. Her ball for Slaughter too far, and a throw in coming back the other way. Friday night we had winds here gusting up to 22 miles an hour. I haven't seen what they are today. That one out on Haley Griffin. A pretty young team here for AM Commerce. Naya Mitchell knocks that one out. Another throw in coming for HCU. The ball into Huerta and kicked out. And another throw now, this time deep in the defensive third. And you can expect this one probably coming into the box. Right on the edge of the 18. Commerce able to win it, loses it. And a foul called against number 28, Alexa Huerta for HCU. We talked about the goalkeeping or the goal scoring and goals against for Texas A&M. They have scored five of their eight first half goals in the first 15 minutes of play. So Houston will have to be on their toes. On the other side, they conceded seven of 12 first half goals in the first 30 minutes. So we'll see how that bodes for the Huskies. The Huskies on the other side of the ledger score most of their goals after the hour mark, but they concede a majority of their goals in the first 20 minutes and the final 30 minutes. They get the ball to Mitchell. Well marked by Murillo. Salas with her now. She tries to turn into the box. Salas, Mitchell, centering ball, shot, goal. That goal goes to number 12, Corelli Morrison. For Morrison, goal number three on the season, assist number four for Mitchell as she got to that ball and was able to get a step on Salas. Seven minutes into the match. And go for the Lions Commerce by number 12, Carolee Morrison. Assisted by number 14, Maya Mitchell. Now I told you you had to keep an eye on Maya Mitchell. There was a great example there, that ball all the way to the keeper. Able to see it all the way was Peters. So now, Commerce, six of nine goals this season in the first half came in the opening 15. So they got one here in the seventh minute of play. Just better speed by Maya Mitchell to get the step on Salas, that was the difference on that goal. Settled down by Campuzano, trying to get it to Morrison. And let's see which way this one goes. It'll go to HCU. Call it off of Morrison. Audrey Addison from Deer Park with the throw. Now Morrison gets it, trying to turn the corner into the box. She'll get to the edge and centered instead, knocked out by Laser. But they regain control. And Houston able to clear it out of danger. Emily James battling against Griffin. And it goes out off of James, throw in to the Lions. Mindy Shafit, the junior. We'll take the throw for Commerce. Shoffitt's throw into the box in the direction of Morrison and 
Houston will have to clear it again. They do successfully, and Huerta tries to send it long. Off the foot of Mindy Shafit. And another throw going for the Huskies now. They haven't been able to get anything going just yet. Commerce got one good streak by Mitchell and turned it into a goal. As she found Morrison virtually unmarked in the middle of the box and she put it past the keeper Bagshaw for the one nil lead. This ball into the box and headed up and out. And Huerta will clear it towards midfield. It'll get across. And the Lions will chase it down there. Emily James with a little bit of pressure up high forces a, a turnover, but Commerce able to get it back as Griffin got to the loose ball first. Addison with another throw coming at midfield for the Huskies. Got it to Marker, but Commerce intercepts again. Houston unable to string more than a pass or two together here early. That's causing issues for their attack. Murillo against Mitchell. Blazer will get it. Gives it to Taylor Rizzo. All the way over to Salas, her ball intercepted, but Commerce will knock it out and a throw into number 21 in the Huskies. Mia Salas chested down, sends it towards the box. It'll get to Peters before any Houston player can get there. Commerce on the season when leading one to nothing. Five, two, and one. A pretty good record when they score first. This is Capanzano battling Cuerta. She comes away with it. Gets the ball in the direction of Marker, but Griffin able to knock it out for another throw. over the head of everybody and it'll cross the end line. Goal kick coming for the Lions. They scored in the seventh minute on a centering ball perfectly weighted to from Maya Mitchell to Morrison and she knocked it home. Here comes Huerta towards midfield. She's got James to her right, gives it up to Marker instead, trying to push it through to Slaughter, intercepted by Commerce, and they try to counter. Laser there, though, to knock it back the other way. Emily James called for offside. Coach Dodd. The head coach for HCU arguing that she reestablished herself before that ball was kicked, but to no avail. Houston has given up the early goal here. They're going to have to chase it. They've got, depending on the wind, at any given moment, it's swirling both directions here. Now, 
sometimes into the face of commerce, sometimes at their back. Here's the toss in towards Campanzano. Winds up at Griffin. She gives it back to number eight. Campanzano looks to the other side. Had Flores open for a minute. Couldn't get it to her as Houston intercepted. Now the Lions will work to regroup. Salas in a battle for that ball. Slaughter comes away with it. Pushes it into space. Salas trying to get there and she won't get there before Naya Mitchell. And it'll be a goal kick to Commerce. Anaya Mitchell, her high school team MVP. The Mitchell sisters are out of Dallas, Texas. Just four upperclassmen on this Commerce team. So very young collegiate side in their first year in D1 soccer. HCU will switch fields. They get it to James. Addison makes a run. She'll get the ball in space. One on one and against Shafit. And it will go off of number five, Mindy Shoffit. And they'll call a throw in for HCU. That was as close to the corner flag as you could get without being over for a corner. Another throw in now. Throw in came to Marker. She couldn't control it. Rizzo with a one touch volley wide of the net. And a goal kick coming for Commerce. AM Commerce started the season. Four shutout losses where they conceded 15 goals in four games. Since then, though, in their last 11, a plus five goal differential. Houston nearly the same. They open the season with a tough go of it, and then since then they have a plus five goal differential. They're down here, one nil. As we play into the 17th minute here at Sorrells Field. Mia Salas has the ball on the attack, gives it up to Ryan Ford. Ford has Addison making a run, sees her, a little bit behind her. She's going to push it into space to Huerta. Huerta against Shafit. Who wins that battle? Alexa Huerta wins it as it's a throw into Addison and the Huskies. Throw into the edge of the 18, and offside will be the call as it went off of Marker to Huerta, and she was off. HCU trailed in their first seven games before they held a lead in game number eight. During that time, they were 0, 6, and 1, giving up 16 goals with six against. As we said before, they are plus five goal differentials since then. They trail here today, 1-0. James has it, drops it back to Addison. She tries to pop it over in the direction of Marker. And that one will go out off of Commerce and another throw. Get it into Rizzo. Rizzo right back to Addison. To James. James to Rizzo. And they work it across. Mia Salas, number 21, has it. Comes out of her left back position uh, just outside the 18, and that ball just wide, deflected off of a Commerce player, and it's a corner to the Huskies. Yeah, 
First corner of the day for either side. See how they set this one up. Houston looking for the equalizer. Coming to the back post, headed off of a Commerce player off the frame, off the header from Evie Slaughter. And Commerce dodges a bullet there. Slaughter's headed, hit the frame, it came right back to Peters, the keeper. Ryan Ford has it now for Houston. And the Huskies on the attack one more time. Ford with the ball on her left foot. Her shot blocked. Now Commerce tries to clear it out in the direction of Mitchell. A battle there between her and Murillo. That will be a battle all day long between number four for Houston and number 14 for the Lions. Twenty minutes into the match, Commerce leads one nil here at Sorrells Field. You're listening to this game on ESPN Plus. That ball knocked out, and the throw will go to Commerce. Throw it on the sideline towards Mitchell. She has a little. Header flicked backwards, but the back line there for Houston able to track it down. Salasta so Rizzo. Rizzo into a dangerous spot, but Laser able to get her foot over it and pop it across midfield. Evie Slaughter runs onto the ball into the box. Naya Mitchell there, but Slaughter equalizes. And we are level at one. A great ball. From Mia Salas. Evie Slaughter finds the back of the net for the first time this season. In the 21st minute, so Houston has pulled one back and it's even. 1-1, one, one. brand new ball game now for these two clubs. Mia Salas got it over the top. Slaughter was able to run onto it and get into the box all alone. And beat the keeper Peters with a shot low inside the post. Evie Slaughter out of Wiley, Texas with the equalizer here. Houston looking to get back on the winning side of the ledger after dropping a 3-0 game to Lamar on Friday night, a game in which they gave up a goal in the fourth minute. And then a couple of goals late allowed the Cardinals to pull away and solidify their lead as the Southland Conference leaders. That shot right at the keeper from Marker. Not a bad idea by number 26, Katie Marker. Mitchell settles, drops it back to Capizano. Commerce trying to find an opening. They dropped it to the back line. They delivered it to Maya. Mitchell at the top of the box, but Rizzo was there as well as Audrey Addison and now an outlet. And here comes Houston the other way on the counter. Good stick by the Lions defense. Mitchell comes from her back position though. That ball will go out, so good pressure from Mia Salas. Force that error by the Commerce Lions. Throw into the box, headed down. James has it. Left footed shot over everything. 
for the pitch for the Lions, number two, Christina Hernandez. She comes in for number 19, Lydia Myers. Well, we get the first sub of the day. It goes to Texas A&M Commerce. Number two, Christine Hernandez replaces Myers. Assist on the goal for the Huskies, number five, Cat Laser. They gave the assist to Cat Laser on Slaughter's goal. Used him with a little bit more energy right now. Ryan Ford makes a run here, gets the ball. One-on-one -on -one against Shoffit at the top of the 18. Left-footed hits Naya Mitchell, comes back out. She tries to set up Huerta, but the defense able to kick it away. Got it across midfield, but everything challenged by HCU. Now Capizano sends it outside to Valerie Flores. Flores up against Salas, gets it to Mitchell in space. This is where she was the last time when she got into the box. Houston able to cover her though and knock it away. Commerce, that ball eventually ends up with Houston and they'll knock it back to midfield. Slaughter trying to chase it down, unable to do so. And the ball from Shafford rolls all the way to the keeper. Chloe Bagshaw. Bagshaw just one of three players from outside of Texas that play for the Huskies. She's out of Cronenworth, England. Salas cuts it inside. Now she'll deliver a ball and it goes right at the keeper, Peters. Well, Houston's idea at the moment, hit it from distance and see what happens. And they've had some pretty good looks. <laughs> Subs coming in now, this one for Commerce. For the Lions, number 25, Addie Higgins. She comes in for number 11, Valerie Flores. Addie Higgins replaces the midfielder, Valerie Flores. Higgins, a sophomore out of Dallas. Morrison had it, got it to Capanzano. Pushes it outside to Christine Hernandez, making a run from her left back position. All alone, centering ball, headed down and then knocked out of the box by Taylor Rizzo. Katie Marker steals it away and she comes to midfield. Cuts to her left, puts the ball out into space in the direction of Huerta. She is not able, or she is able to run it down. But right there, the defender as well, and they'll kick it out. I believe that was Higgins. That number 20, McKenna Keeley. First subs now for Houston. Number 23, Lauren Avia. Lauren Avia and Audrey Addison. And Felicia Hernandez, Hernandez will enter. Production number 15. As Hernandez, Addison number and Marker depart. Marker. Throw into Huerta. She just missed it. Ryan Ford got to it, has it on her left, right foot this time and pops it over everything. Another goal kick coming for Commerce. So Houston trying to take advantage of the wind at their back, at least for the moment. Slaughter tried to get it. Hernandez has it for Commerce. A little touch to Capizano. Trying to put it ahead to Mitchell, but it'll get into the box before anyone else can get there. Throw 
in towards the 18 yard line and eventually winds up to Ford. She sees Salas making a run on the far side but couldn't direct the ball close enough for her to get to it. And Commerce will get the throw. Beginning to pick up here, and that will have a factor for anything kicked high in the air here today. Alavia makes a run, and a good stick by Christine Hernandez to take it away as Avia tried to cut to her left. Cat Laser and Morrison in a battle. Laser goes down. Morrison called for the foul, and number five will take this kick. Tied 1-1. As we near the half hour mark here in Houston, a seventh minute goal by Commerce's Carolee Morrison and NEV Slaughter equalized 14 minutes later. That header just wide from Slaughter off the foot of Laser as she delivered it in. Perfect strike. Slaughter unable to get it to the back of the net though. EV Slaughter with her first goal of the season here today. able to get it outside to Hernandez. She popped it in the air and the wind held it up for Laser to knock it down and Commerce regroups at midfield. Morrison will go down, play on, says the official. Capizano will push it outside. And a centering ball right at the keeper, Bagshaw, able to knock it down, and Houston able to clear. Bagshaw couldn't quite hang on to it, and it, for a moment, it, Mitchell had a chance. Now Ryan Ford in the direction of midfield, hits it into space. Slaughter is going to be unable to get to it, and it'll turn into a throw-in for Commerce. This one will go to HCU for a throw as Griffin kicked it out. Throw comes to Ford. Ford approaches the 18, cuts to her right. And she thought Puerto was going to make a little run there. Tried to lay it off. Number 28 didn't make the run. It goes out. Goal kick coming. Moving for first 45 here as we just hit the 32 minute mark. Avia with the throw, Slaughter with the touch. Now Ford to Avia, back to Ford. Capizano right there with her. She tries to get it to James, does. And Naya Mitchell going to be called for the foul. And a kick coming for Houston Christian. How big would it be for Houston to get the goal here in the five final 12 minutes or so of the opening half and go to that locker room with a two to one lead. into the box, headed up by Commerce, and eventually it's cleared out by Commerce. Naya Mitchell trying to run onto that, or Maya Mitchell trying to run onto that one. Houston knocks it out near midfield on the far side.
I'll send this one reverse field, maybe not quite what they intended, but the wind knocked it down and bounced it the other way and it goes out on the near side, throw into HCU. Hernandez for Commerce gets it to Capozano. As Commerce intercepted the throw in, now the ball into the box, Bagshaw off her line and she'll get there before Hattie Higgins does. Back comes Houston on the counter. Taylor Rizzo sees Avia making a run, but gives it up to Ford. Ford doesn't know she made a run on the backside. And a miss kick by the Lions, and that should be a corner to Houston, and it is. Second corner of the day for the Huskies as they make wholesale substitutions Perfect here the into the match. Three. Danica Eddick out of the Eddie. Woodlands. Radwanski. Addie Radwanski and Isabella Cheek all into the match. Also subbing in number 11, Isabella Cheek. Also checking in for the Huskies, number eight, Danica Eddick. Danica Eddick saw her first action, I believe it was on Friday night against Lamar. Stepping in for the Lions, number seven, Lauren Shaw. She comes in for number five, Mindy Shawfit. Lauren Shaw, number seven out of Livingston, Texas. One of the few seniors on the pitch here today for either side into the match now. She comes in for Mindy Shoffit. And this corner will be short, tipped away by Commerce and knocked back to midfield by the Lions. That'll be a throw into HCU on the other side. Houston came in with 19 or 17 goals on the season. Texas A&M Commerce came in with 19. They each have one here as we're level at one in the closing minutes of the opening half. That ball too far away from Cheek to get to it. And now Commerce tries to counter. Murillo against Mitchell as Mitchell has it on her left foot. Ball towards the net. And it'll clear, be cleared by HCU. Dangerous ball there for just a moment. Looked like it was going back post. McKenna Keeley will have this throw on the far side for Commerce. Throw comes into the box in the direction of Mitchell, headed up in the air by Etter and out by the Huskies. Radwanski pushed in the back and that'll be called against Melitis. Commerce got their goal in the seventh minute on a pretty play as Maya Mitchell chased down a ball, had a step on Mia Salas and centered it to Carolee Morrison and she did the rest. Then in the 21st minute, Cat Laser found Evie Slaughter over the top and Slaughter able to finish to even the match at one. Here comes Lauren Shaw. Shaw looks up, surveys the field continues to move towards the 18. Lays it off to Morrison. Morrison will give it back to her now. She's just outside the box. Centering ball in the direction of Mitchell, headed away by HCU. Capizano with a try. And the Huskies able to clear. Radwanski steps in front of Keeley and knocks it out. Slows down everything here. Six and a half minutes left in the opening 45. One won the score. 
These two teams also tied for third place along with Texas A&M Corpus Christi in the Southland Conference. So a big match here today between these two teams and then Friday night, the Huskies end their season here at Sorrells Field against the same Texas A&M Corpus Christi team. So they really have their seeding fate in their hands here. Or would you rather at their feet? Good build up there as they push it across midfield. Radwanski has it, got a runner. Ford now, ball in her right foot, pushes it out in the direction of Cheek. Unable to get it as Nia Mitchell knocked it away. Throw in quickly to Ford. Ward back to Villa. Gives it to Laser. Laser trying to get by Shaw, unable to do so. Shaw traded her Livingston Lions in Jersey for the AM Commerce Lions jersey four years ago when she came to the school. She's one of the few seniors, as we mentioned, on this team, number seven is. Houston with another corner. Their third of the day. Ryan Ford to take the corner. They'll have Cat Laser, Felicia Hernandez, and Mario all crashing the back post. Radwanski will come towards the spot and headed away right to the foot of Huerta, blocked by the Commerce defense. And it'll be a throw in. Huerta with a quick flick of the head, forces Commerce to clear again and another throw in coming. Avia's throw intercepted by Capizuano. Now Griffin, now Capizuano. And they'll try to push it across. But right there, number four, Murillo able to head it out of danger. As it was headed to Maya Mitchell, another throw in coming by Hernandez and the Lions. Christine Hernandez, the junior out of Denison, Texas. And one of the nice things, you saw the wind take that ball and never got a chance to even touch inside the chalk line. And Houston got the throw, intercepted by number eight, Capuzuano. Now Avia will clear over the top. Radwanski trying to get onto it, but Peters will be there at the top of the 18 to pick it up. Houston and Texas, well represented by both of these schools. 19 of 23 players for Commerce are from the state of Texas. 23 of 26 on the roster for HCU from Texas. Nine of those from Houston itself. Keeley has it on the far side for Commerce. Sends it up to Mitchell. Mitchell and Murillo battling and she gives it up. Capizano over the top into the top of the 18 and cleared away by Houston. Good stick there by Griffin. And now Houston will counter back the other way. Griffin delayed it for just a moment. Houston got it back. This is Radwanski and she's gonna lose it on the far side. It'll be a throw in to McKenna Keeley and the Commerce Lions. And again, the wind took that ball. And it'll be a turnover to HCU. HCU pops it into the box. And it's going to elude everything and everyone. Goal kick coming for Peters. Peters. 
Under a minute and a half left in the first 45 here at Sorrells Field. All even at a goal apiece. That ball is going to curve and it'll get out before Capizano can get there. Throw into the Huskies. Let's see if they got they one last in the first push half. here. One minute remaining in the first half. Villa will have the throw. Hernandez calling for the ball. Going to go to Cheek. Tries to give it to Hernandez, but intercepted by Morrison. Avia got it back and a battle. Hernandez has it, lost it. Capizuano has it. And she turns around and sends it back the other way across midfield. Maya Mitchell to Shaw. Shaw had a couple of defenders on her. The ball caromed in the direction of Mitchell, but Houston able to clear. Now Cheek trying to run onto this one and it's gonna get away from her. The final 15 seconds ticking away here in the first half, even at a goal apiece between Texas A&M nine, University Commerce eight, and seven, the Houston Christian six, University five, Huskies. Four, three, two, one. There's the buzzer as the and clock strikes the zero. And that's the, the end of uh, the first 45 team. here at Swirls Field in Houston, Texas on the campus of Houston Christian University. The second half, plus two goals in the 58th minute. So give them seven of 11 at the hour mark or later. Meanwhile, they have conceded 13 of 17 goals after the hour mark. Nine of those goals came after the 70th minute. So Houston that likes to score after the hour mark has a chance here today. Commerce as well. Houston concedes 10 of 14 goals this season after the hour mark and scored on seven of 12. But when you add in the ones close, they have two more goals at 58 minutes and another one at 57. So 10 of their 12 second half goals have come right around the 60th minute or later in a match as we're underway here with the second 45. The winds roughly 15 miles an hour plus. According to weather.com A&M Commerce has the wind at their back here in the second half as they move from left to right as you watch it on your television screens. Mitchell had a shot at it for just a moment. Morrison got it, tried to give it up to Griffin. Houston intercepted. And here comes Huerta across midfield. Couple of Lions chasing her. Pushes the ball into space for James, but McKenzie able to get off her line and pick it up before number 30 could get there. Gillian McKenzie, this is her ninth appearance of the season. She's got over 500 minutes in the nets this year. Mitchell had it on her foot at the top of the 18 for just a second. Houston able to get it back away. Hernandez can't chase that one down for the Lions and Houston will have a throw in on the far side. Audrey Addison back into the match at her normal right back position for Houston. Gives it up to Taylor Rizzo. Rizzo to marker. As Houston basically starts with their same starting 11. Salas back to Rizzo. Rizzo coming to midfield, pushes it across to Ryan Ford. Ford with a ball to Slaughter. She tried a little heel pass to marker, didn't get enough on it. And Commerce able to intercept and counter back the other way. 
A hard foul on Morrison by the Huskies. And Commerce will have a chance as a lot tights will have the kick. be swinging in towards the back post and over everything as we saw in the first half it happens here in the second half the ball sails with the windager back as they got it up in the air and it just took it away Houston has it in midfield. James turns and crosses midfield and tries to push it through to Slaughter. Nia Mitchell there just in the nick of time. Throw in for Salas and the Huskies. Deep in the defensive third of the Lions. They're able to get it out of the box. Capizano with a header. And Houston will help escort it out and get another throw. Get it into Puerta. She pops it into the box. James gets onto it. Naya Mitchell is there as well. And it will be a goal kick. to McKenzie and the Lions. Just about six minutes into the, into the second half. This game even at a goal apiece. Slaughter heads it down. And James headed it back the other way. And Houston knocks it out. Throw in coming for Commerce. McKenna Keeley with the toss down the line to Mitchell, to Morrison, off the head of Murillo. Laser is there. She clears it out of the 18, but right to Capizano. Actually, that was Hernandez, Christine Hernandez, then Capizano. And Houston finally able to get it out. Knocked back the other way by Keeley. And it'll be a goal kick to the Huskies. Christine Hernandez now playing left mid on the far side. And a collision and both players go down, Ryan Ford and Valerie Flores. The call goes against Flores and the Huskies will have a kick. teams have the ability to score from a lot of different directions. Eight different players have scored for Houston Christian this season, led by Katie Markers, five goals, and they have a couple more with three apiece. Now a foul against Rizzo, as Mia Salas and Emily James post have three goals each. Ryan Ford with two, Zaya Balderas with two, Evie Slaughter, Huerta, and Enchando all with a goal apiece. Titus with the kick near the top of the 18. Hernandez trying to get onto it does, blocked by the HCU back line and cleared away. Keeley knocks it back into the box. The keeper, Bagshaw, off her line. She'll wisely let it go and it'll be a goal kick. to take the kick. 
defends it across midfield. Naya Mitchell is there for Commerce, takes it off the foot of Slaughter and sends it back the other way. Drops it back to Addison, now to Rizzo, now to Ford. Ford to midfield. Addison making a run. They feed it to Slaughter. Naya Mitchell is there, though, to clear it out. down by Morrison, but not close enough for Mitchell to run onto it, and it'll roll all the way to Bagshaw. Here comes Houston the other way. Slaughter with the ball in her right foot. Mitchell right there with her. Slows it down, pushes it to Ford. Ford with the right footed shot and Huerta can't quite get there before McKenzie picks it up. If you're looking ahead to next season already, thinking about the this makeup of this Houston team, they lose just four players from this squad. So they will be an experienced side coming in next season. Well, this season rebounding from a tough start where they trailed in their first seven games. But they've done well in conference at 5 4 and 1 when it counted the most. Throw into the box and knocked out off of Commerce. Goal kick to the Huskies. Kick headed back by Commerce. Lions have it at midfield. Keeley's ball towards Mitchell. Addison right there defending her. Now Griffin and Huerta. As Capizuano comes back to help out. Foul called. And a kick coming for the Huskies again. Play it to Addison. Addison's going to cut to her right. Square ball to Taylor and Rizzo. See if they complete the transition as they have run. That was Salas on this side with it, with the square to Rizzo. Addison has it on the far side now. Goes off of her. Throw in to Commerce. Mia Salas has been a very versatile player for this Huskies team this year, number 21, as she has played both the midfield and the back line here of late. She calls for the ball and gets it just outside the 18. Puts it on her right foot, now back to the left foot, centering ball, and nobody can get to it as it eluded the keeper. Houston had two players right there, Slaughter and James, and neither one could get a touch on it. And Christine Hernandez knocks down Emily James and she grabs the knee. They're gonna stop the clock and check on her. She's up and moving under her own power and that looks good for the Huskies. Corner kick coming, the fourth of the day. For HCU. Kick it into a crosswind here. Actually, not a corner, but just outside the 18. Ryan Ford will have it on our right foot. And try to keep this one as low as possible, not let that wind affect it. James at the near post. They pop it in, head it out. 
And Mia Salas has it now. She's gonna send it right back towards the goal off the crossbar. Slaughter with a header into the back of the net, two to one. Houston, flag is up though. They call Slaughter for the offside. Wow. They hit the crossbar and it looked like Slaughter came over to that ball, but they say she was off before. And the go-ahead goal is taken off the board. Second time today that Houston has hit the crossbar against Commerce. That all started as Emily James chased down a ball just outside the box. She got pulled down. This ball intercepted by Christine Hernandez and now taken away by Addison. Both those players wear number two for their respective sides. Naya Mitchell gets to this one. Morrison has it now for Commerce. She goes down. Throw in coming though for the Lions on the far side. Shafit with the toss, headed back the other way by Rizzo. Capizuano has it now for A&M Commerce and it will go over the end line. And a corner coming as they say it went off the Husky defender, first of the day for a and Commerce. Capizano will take it. Griffin will be on that back post. Keeley right in the middle along with Morrison and he lose everyone and everything and it'll be a goal kick to the Huskies as we get the first subs here in the second half. Alicia Hernandez in. Or Alexa Huerta. Laser to take the goal kick. Sends it in the direction of James and Slaughter. James got a head on it. Now Ford gets one, but Commerce eventually gets it out to Morrison. Trying to play a little give and go. Morrison eventually gets onto the ball. Right there with her is the defender, Murillo, and to touch it out. Corner kick coming again for Commerce. A very well played match here between these two sides. No yellows, no reds, no bookings. Into the box and for a moment, it looked like Griffin was going to have a shot at it, but the sophomore able to, unable to connect as it goes by her. Well defended by Mia Salas. Goal kick to Houston. Into the 57th minute of play here at Sorrells Field. Even at a goal apiece between Texas A&M Commerce and the Houston Christian University Huskies. Houston had a goal waved off for an offside call just moments ago. Commerce has been on the attack ever since. Another corner coming to Commerce as they've been able to step up the pressure just a bit on this Houston side. Mindy Shoffit, it looks like, will be on the back post this time. Keeley and Morrison and Valetis inside. Valerie Flores stands at the top of the 18. Maya Mitchell at the near post and a header into the back of the net. And that's the go-ahead goal for Commerce. Mindy Shoffit. On the backside, came into the ball and knocked it home. A 
on the 59th Go minute. Shoffit from number five, Mindy Shoffit. Convert. By number eight, Ashley Campuzano. Campuzano with the assist off the corner kick. To the pitch for the Huskies. Perfectly executed. Perfectly executed by the Lions. That corner kick and they get the go-ahead goal. Now Houston will chase once again. Jordan Bushnell into the game. She takes the place of Addison at the right back position. Foul called against Morrison. And a kick coming for Laser and the Huskies. They had a goal, goal called back in the 55th minute. And Commerce instead has the lead at two to one. Capizuano has it for Commerce, pushes it outside to Maya Mitchell. She chases it down, Mario right there with her, and Mario pokes it away. It'll be a throw in to the Lions. McKenna Keeley to take the throw. They'll toss this one into the box as the winds pick up here at Sorrells Field. be a goal kick as that ball goes off of Commerce. Houston had the early pressure, thought they had the go-ahead goal. The assistant on the far side had the flag up for offside. And then moments later, Commerce converts a, goal, a corner kick into a goal. As Capizano found Shafit on the back post and she headed it home. Unforced error there by the Lions. Gives the Huskies a throw in. Mia Salas. Tossed it into Murillo. She knocked it off of Capizano and they'll get another throw. Now they'll come down the line to Marker. Marker trying to get around Griffin, unable to do so as Griffin takes it away. And Houston's Felicia Hernandez knocks it out to slow down the Lions' attack. They lead two to one. Throw in the direction of Mitchell, ends up at Capizuano's feet, then to Mitchell, then back to number eight, and now she knocks it out. Throw into the Huskies. Houston in their defensive third. For the Huskies, number 28, Alexa Huerta. She Quite a bit. Number 12, Rizzo. For the last few minutes, Huerta back into the match. Rizzo out for the Huskies. Ball knocked out near midfield, but the latest right there for Commerce. Houston regains control and puts it into space for Slaughter. Onto the ball, cuts to her left, pokes it ahead to James. She's taken down, no call. And Commerce able to clear it out. Throw into Alexa Huerta. Two defenders on her as she turns and gets by Griffin. Into the box to Slaughter. Naya Mitchell there, knocks it away. Mia Salas to Marker, Marker loses it. Commerce back the other way. Maya Mitchell has it at midfield, turns, pushes it in to Valerie Flores. Flores will drop it to the back line. They send it ahead, Houston clears it out. Griffin touches it too much on that ball. 
goal kick to the Huskies. Mindy Schaffet with the go ahead goal for Commerce in the 59th minute. They lead two to one over Houston. Goal kick coming for the Huskies. HCU chasing the match as we near the 70th minute mark. Centering ball too much. McKenzie will get there off her line and pick it up on the hop. That was Bushnell with the service. A little bit too much. Not quite enough of an angle on it and McKenzie able to get to it before anyone else. Flores with the touch, gets it to Morrison. Morrison with the game's opening goal. Loses it, but Hernandez has it on the outside. Trying to cut in. It's on the baseline and goal kick coming for Houston. Low line drive headed back the other way and now popped up. And here comes Houston trying to get onto that ball. Naya Mitchell, though, able to turn and knock it the other way. Salas now to Marker. Marker pushes it outside too far for Huerta to get to. Throw in coming for AM Commerce. Kenna Keeley with this toss. Salas intercepts. And here comes number 21, centering the ball to Slaughter, intercepted by Naya Mitchell. Now Slaughter has Ryan Ford on her right, pushes it out to her as she gets to the box. Right-footed shot, knocked down by the keeper, McKenzie. Settles right back, little chip, goes over everything. Solid shot there by Ryan Ford. Now follow-up chip went over the frame. Sixty five minutes in the books here. Seventy five minutes in the books, I should say. Let me do my math again here. Less than twenty to play, so right the first time at sixty five minutes. Here comes Ryan Ford and a good move by Shafit to intercept and knock it into the box. And a high hop and Bagshot come off her line, had to back up just a bit to corral that one. Huerta has it, knocked down from behind. That'll be a kick to the Huskies. Now a little pushing there between number eight and number 28. And the official going to talk to both of them. Bookings this entire match, a well officiated game, a well played game between both sides. Laser will take this kick just on the Husky side of midfield. Into the box it comes, falls down at the 18. Huerta and stopped by McKenzie. Houston able, unable at the moment to find the equalizer after nearly having the go-ahead goal in the 55th minute and now down a goal. That 
ball will go out off of Houston's Felicia Hernandez. That will be a corner. Oh, each team now with four corners Number in the match. Nine. Number seven, Lauren Shaw. As Shaw Number returns. Two, Hernandez. Hernandez out, Shaw is in. She's gonna play up top with Maya Mitchell. There's a ball into the box, headed away by Houston out the other side. Flores knocked it back into the box, but Houston able to clear again. And now we'll get our first booking of the day and that will come against Valerie Flores. As she knocked down Katie Marker. Still a throw in on the far side though to Commerce. A&M Commerce's Mindy Shoffit will take this throw. She got the go ahead goal that has Commerce up. Two to one in the 59th minute. Houston able to clear, push in the back, no call. James settles, pushes it to the outside. Slaughter will get onto it. Keeley with her one on one. Slaughter will cut to her right. Capizano there, she sees the open player. That's Marker, the goal scoring leader for Houston. Her shot blocked. Ford got it, drops it to Bushnell. Bushnell unable to get past. The defender on the, the far side, Husky, Valerie Flores. Zero, Taylen, Rizzo. She comes in for number 26, Katie Marker. Flores knocks it out. And Rizzo returns. Marker exits. And we're about to have the Houston throw in. Murillo's throw to the foot of Ford. Ford makes the turn at the end line. Centering ball to Hernandez just wide. Slaughter couldn't get a foot on it either. Had Slaughter been able to redirect that one, it may have been in the back of the net because they had McKenzie moving to her right. The ball would have gone back left. Near miss there for Houston. Houston trails two to one as AM Commerce takes this throw on the far side near midfield. And one goal games, Houston with a record of two, four, and three. So two wins, four losses, three draws. Gonna have to come from behind here today, though. If they're to get anywhere against Commerce. Good job by Keeley to get back, and then Naya Mitchell clears it to midfield. Rizzo for Houston gets it outside to Mia Salas. Number 21 with Capizano on Hirsch, cuts to her right. Still one on one. Now Morrison is there, and Salas will go the other way. Morrison able to poke it out, throw in coming for Houston as that slowed down the attack. Good help there by number 12 to slow down Salas. Now another throw coming. Get it in the direction of Hernandez. Hernandez settles, loses it. Griffin has it, pushes it forward. This is Maya Mitchell with it, trying to get away from Ford and Murillo. Gets it to the other side. Flores to Mitchell. A little give and go. Too much though on that ball. By Flores, a goal kick coming to the Huskies. 75 minutes in the books. 15 minutes left in regulation here at Sorrells Field. Texas A&M Commerce leads 2-1 to one over Houston Christian. Over the top to Slaughter. Mitchell is there and McKenzie off her line to grab it. 
at the last second. Nice ball there by the Huskies on a quick counter. Griffin battling against Huerta. Addison with a touch. Arcelas with a touch. Coming up the middle of the field. She's got Slaughter on one side. That ball just wide of the net as she shoots from about 35 yards out. To the pitch for the Lions, number 25, Addie Higgins. She comes in for number 12, Carolee Morrison. Ara Villa returns for, for Houston. Addie Higgins for the number Lions. Lauren Avia. She comes in for number 21. Mia Salah. Oh, Via now the left back for Houston. That ball will skip all the way in to the 18 yard box where Bagshaw will pick it up. Hernandez with a flick backwards. Capizuano is there, Hernandez, and a push by Hernandez. Kick coming for the Lions. Well, I just will take it. Number 13 for AM Commerce. Lifts it into the box, headed back the other way in a push. And down goes the Houston defender. Laser though, one tough cookie as Bagshaw helps her to her feet. Nice ball there from number 13 into the box. AM Commerce and able to convert though. Now Marker returns and Hernandez exits for Houston. Clock continues to run as we come up on the 78th minute of play. Commerce looking for that insurance goal. Houston looking for the equalizer. Griffin has it, pushes it outside to Shafit. Now uh, it was Higgins, not Shafit. Higgins just into the game. Both have the blonde hair. Avia with the touch towards Puerta. She pops it across and Commerce able to secure it back the other way for a moment. Now Huerta pushes it into space. That's Emily James. James left footed centering ball tipped away at the last second by Commerce. Flores has it for the Lions. Capizuano now punches it across midfield but Avia is there for Houston. She's going to put it back to the keeper as Shaw was giving pressure. Avia, Rizzo, James, now Huerta. Huerta trying to get by McKenna, McKenna Keeley. Lifts it into the box. Naya Mitchell is there. Huerta again. Alexa Huerta just about everywhere right now, but unable to. Get that second goal set up for Houston. Goal kick coming for the Huskies. And Addie, Audrey Addison back into the match. Or Mia Salas back into the match. As she'll go to left back. And Avia will go over to the right back on the far side. Jordan Bushnell exits. Slaughter, good hustle by number 13, Naya Mitchell, Emily James. Slaughter shot blocked. Salas off her foot. Wynn takes that one. 
And Higgins will clear it out of danger. Shaw trying to run on it for AM Commerce. She eventually gets control, gets it to Mitchell. Mitchell one on one against Murillo. Salas hustling back, slows her down. Mitchell turns the other way, gets the ball in her left foot, unable to do anything with it. And Rizzo now will clear it out for the Huskies. Houston just missed again. Another opportunity to equalize this match. Salas trying to get to this ball, can't do it. Throw in coming for Commerce at midfield. Under nine minutes to play in the match. The Southland Conference matchup brought to you by ESPN Plus. Rizzo, where are uh, James? Touches it to Katie Marker, she loses it. And AM Commerce back the other way. High bounce into the box. Backshaw off her line, secures it. Laser will get it outside to Avia. Cross midfield now as Houston begins to mount another attack. Avia unable to get past Shafit, who knocks it out, throw in coming for the Huskies. Quick throw to Katie Marker at the edge of the 18 yard box on the far side. Number 26 with a little step over and a drop back to Avia. Centering ball over everything. Mia Salas able to run onto it. Step over there, trying to get the ball on her left foot. Centering ball from the end line. Knocked down. And it'll be a corner to the Huskies. Corner number five. Let's see if that's a charm here. Huerta will take this corner. Salas will be at the top of the 18. Rizzo on the backside. Cat Laser. And Marker gets a head on it. Nobody able to touch it. And still not out of danger. Huerta has it. Has it on her right foot to Marker. Marker with a shot right at the keeper and cleared away at the last second by Shafid. Another corner. Wow. How many times can the A&M Commerce Lions thwart the attack of the Houston Huskies? That ball into the air, knocked down. Capizuano, Guerta has it, pushes it outside. Ryan Ford pops it into the box. Header by Marker right at the keeper. Well played by McKenzie. She followed that ball across the goal line and was right there when Marker tried to head it in near post. Settled by Rizzo to Huerta. Intercepted by the Lions. Knocked into the 18 yard box where Bagshaw will pick it up for the Huskies. Time starting to be the enemy of Houston Christian as we are under six minutes to play in the match. Ball outside to Higgins and her ball goes over the end line. Goal kick coming for Texas A&M Commerce as we get a sub into the game. Morrison returns. To the pitch for the Lions, number 12. Carolee Morrison. She comes in for number 13, Caitlin Velitis. Velitis exits. Morrison now has the ball. Outside the Shaw. Shaw with Rizzo on her. Well played by Houston. They get it out of danger. A couple of players go down. The call will go against AM Commerce and a kick coming for the Huskies. Laser ball as Capizano was in the way and interfered. And she'll get a card. So two yellows in the second half, both of them against Commerce, one on Flores, one on Capizano. The 
nice kick coming just from the Houston side of midfield. Keeps it low, intercepted, knocked back by AM Commerce. Naya, Maya Mitchell has it. Mitchell cuts inside on Murillo, now cuts back to her right, trying to get into the box. Salas coming on, shot, hits the side netting. Good hustle by Salas to force Mitchell as she overlapped behind Murillo. Commerce trying to keep the ball in the defensive third of Houston. The Huskies trying to get into Commerce territory and find the equalizer. Under four minutes to play in the game. Two to one in favor of the Lions. Came into this game in a third place tie with Houston Christian and the Texas A&M Corpus Christi side. Houston will entertain on Friday night in their season finale, the Texas A&M Corpus Christi side here at Sorrells Field. You can watch that game on ESPN Plus as well. That kick and Mitchell trying to run onto it. She's not gonna get to it. Too much wind, too much bounce. Goal kick for the Huskies. Commerce content just to bang the ball the other way. The men on the field on the backside of the bleachers warming up. They play next. The Air Force cadets who lead the WAC conference with a record of 5-0 are here in Houston to face the Houston Christian University men's team. Goal kick coming for Houston Christian. Under three minutes to play in the match now. In the 55th minute, Houston had a goal waved off in the 59th minute. A&M Commerce converted on a corner. That's the match right now, two to one. In visiting Lions. James and Shafit collide. The ball comes to Naya Mitchell. She bangs it across to the other side of midfield. Morrison has it for Commerce. Now the Huskies will send it the other way, but Naya Mitchell right there. She's just like Cat Laser. Seems to be in the right place at the right time. Marker will drop it back to Rizzo. Rizzo with the square ball across to Salas. Salas against Flores, cuts to her right, lets it go. It's gonna go over everything. Maybe rush that one just a little bit as we're under a minute and a half to play. Salas went down hard, trying to get up. The official says, let's go. Gillian McKenzie came on in the second half and has shut down the Houston attack with a little help from the goalpost. Attention fans, and her remaining back in the line. Half. One minute remaining in the second half. As the Lions found a way to keep the ball out of the back of the net on about three different occasions here in the second half when it looked like the Huskies were going to get a goal. Last push for HCU. Commerce will knock it back the other way. Bagshaw picks it up. Under 30 seconds left. Rizzo to Marker. Marker had a runner in Salas. Lost it to Morrison. And Morrison being chased. She's gonna run to the far side and just run the clock as we're under 10 five, seconds now. Eight, and seven, Texas A&M Commerce six, will come five, to Houston and four, walk away three, with a two to one win as they five, hang on. 
to post the victory against the Huskies. And that's the end of regulation. This game started in... Huskies won. Crazy.